This is Muhammad Zahid with engineering training platform. From this training platform, you will able to learn step by step PLC and to get high score in interview and certification. Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about PLC programming, Symmetric S7 engineering software, Step 7 basic, Step 7 professional, Step 7 programming languages, linear and modular program. First of all, thank you and appreciate it for all of you to watch my videos which is enable to boost me to make more videos which will helpful for you on field side interviews and for beginners and learners. I'm trying my best to deliver the best and easy presentation for your understanding. Who is new in my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the further notification. And if you like my videos, please hit the like button. Siemens totally integrated automation portal software is used in all phases of automation system design, operation and maintenance. Here you can see to start the program there is some steps. First of all configure a device which device we are going to use, write a PLC program, configure motion and technology objects, configure an HMI screen and project view open the project view the user can choose between portal view which guide the user through each engineering step or project view which are the fast access with all relevant tools the portal view is good place to start for the new user or anyone who want to proceed with the development of the project in logical sequence TIE portal combines the software editors needed for these various tasks in one engineering tools. You can see in the picture of S7 1200 PLC superimposed on TIE portal screen that show to how the realistic device images and show a TIE portal project view after S7 1200 PLC has been detected. In portal view, the available tasks are clearly identified such as create a new project, configure a device or write a PLC program. Selecting configure a device allows the user to quickly and easily set up a new device. Device types are easily located in a searchable hardware catalog. Configuration and networking for the entire project are performed in device and network views, which display graphical representation of devices and allow network connection to be created using simple drag and drop approach. Configuration can be further simplified by using TIA portal to detect connecting device. Preparing the PLC for using in automation system required configuration, devices, network and program a PLC and related devices. For Siemens PLC, the following engineering software is used to perform these functions. S7200 PLC required Step 7 Microwin, S7300 and S7400 PLC required Step 7 Professional TIA Portal, S7200 PLC required Step 7 Basic or Step 7 Professional TIA Portal, S7500 PLC required Step 7 Professional TIA Portal. Step 7 engineering software run on personal computer that has a Microsoft Windows operating system. As shown in the picture, a user program for an S7-1200 PLC can include a full range of instruction such as boolean logic, counting, timing, comparison, 
mathematics and much more. In S7-1200 PLC require Step 7 Basic or Step 7 Professional TIA portals are used for the configuration and programming. Step 7 Basic allow program element to be dragged and dropped into the program and the logical arrangement of these elements to be modified in the same way. Step 7 Basic is a more economically approach and support the following IEC 61131 programming languages which are letter diagram, function block diagram and structural control language. Letter diagram is graphical programming language originally derived in the diagram used in electromechanical control circuit which is expanded to include much more advanced capabilities. Function block diagram is graphical programming language which is similar in capabilities to letter diagram programming. Structure control language are also known as structure text which is high level programming language. A structural control language is suitable for programming of complex output algorithm and mathematics function. Now we will discuss about Step 7 Professional TIA Portal. In S7-1500, S7-400 and S7-300 PLC use Step 7 Professional TIA Portal. S7-1200 PLC use both Step 7 Basic or Step 7 Professional TIA Portal. Step 7 Professional TIA Portal is used for the configuration and programming of S7-300, S7-400, S7-1200 and S7-1500 PLC and related devices. S7-300 and S7-400 PLC were developed prior to the introduction of TIA portal software. A version of Step 7 Professional separate from TIA portal is also available for use with these PLCs. We are going to discuss about programming languages. As I discussed earlier in my previous slides that in step 7 basic the following programming languages are being used letter logic function block diagram and structural control language in step 7 professional use the above IEC 61131 programming languages including with the following programming languages statement list and s7 graph a statement list is also known as instruction list. This is low level text based programming language. Sequential function chart is a graphical programming language included in step 7 professional as S7 graph. In S7 graph steps are shown in a sequence making it easy to see the order in which events will occur. We are going to discuss about linear and modular program. You can see here in the picture linear program and modular program. A PLC execute a program in a cyclic manner referred to as a scan. A PLC program can be organized as a linear program or a modular program. A linear program has all the instruction in one block and execute these instruction in sequence in each PLC scan. A linear program work well when the program is simple and doesn't need to vary from one PLC scan to another. A modular program is composed of multiple program blocks. Some program blocks are executed 
in each PLC scan. And other program blocks are executed under special circumstances, such as during startup at specific times. When a special process events occur or when an error or interrupt occur. An interrupt is a special signal or condition that causes a PLC to immediately perform a specific task. In programming terminology, when a program block initiates another program block, the initiating block is said call the other block. This causes the calling program block to temporarily halt its execution until the call program block completes its execution. Then the calling block resumes its execution. As shown in the picture, program blocks can also be nested. This means that one program block can call another program block. This provides additional flexibility in programming. As compared to a linear program, a modular program with program blocks that, that perform functional tasks is easier to understand, develop and debug. In addition, a modular program often performs better because it can vary the task from one PLC scan to another based on the needs of the application. This is end of lecture. Please help to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.